Hey guys, like most things in life, there is more than one way to look at something. But when it comes to money, there are two predominant ways. There's scarcity thinking and abundance thinking. The financial industry has been built around marketing scarcity thinking to people. You see, financial advisors make huge commissions convincing the masses to live below their means, work hard, clip coupons, and put as much money as they can into mutual funds and stocks and bonds and other things like that. Then, when they're retired, these same people are to nibble away at their savings with the thought that they will die before the money runs out. Now, and this plan may be fine for some, but it certainly isn't going to get you the life that you dream of. I don't know about you, but I don't want to. I want to enjoy my 50s and 60s traveling and helping others rather than stretching every dollar so I don't starve to death. When there's an economic correction or even a, a, a recession, you know, in the economy, there's economic uncertainty, there's high taxes, slow stock returns, rising inflation, and all, they all start making the headlines. The scarcity thinkers start feeling the pinch, you know, and they delay retirement, they take a part-time job to try to make ends meet, they downgrade their home. You know, they've been sold that this is the only option for dealing with a recession. And unfortunately, these are the people that are focused on income instead of making their money work for them. The wealthiest people in the world think in abundance. They seek to expand their money and their wealth beyond just surviving and instead are looking to create a legacy for their children and their whole family. They know that cash flow is king and so is growth. So they are always working on creating multiple streams of income, like investing in companies and of course real estate that throw off money quarter over quarter. You know, these income streams allow them to enjoy the finer things in life, travel and contribute to their favorite causes without affecting their net worth because all these great things come from their cash flow. You know, these people are not scrimping and saving. They're not trying to figure out how to outlive their nest egg. The, the great thing is that you don't have to either. You are able to increase your net worth, improve your cash flow, and build a legacy for your family too. For a long time, multifamily real estate investing was a tool used by the super wealthy. And most of the wealthiest people have either made or put their money into real estate. And I'm not talking about a REIT or like a real estate investment trust. I'm talking about real multifamily buildings that have been around for decades and have produced income month over month for generations. The way you get into these deals is to invest into a syndication. Right now, CEOs, doctors, lawyers, mid-level managers, even home entrepreneurs can get, can get into, the, into investing into these multifamily uh, syndications, all without becoming a landlord or putting their name on a large business loan. They get all the tax breaks, depreciation, and the pride of ownership as well. Anyway, that's the difference between scarcity and abundance thinking. Uh, that is working for your money versus your money working for you. What do you guys think? Are you in abundance mode? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear that all you guys are in abundance mode. And I'm sure if you're watching, you certainly are. Anyway, be great, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow at 10X.